Ladies and gentlemen, Basil and Will with Grayson Hobby, and today we have an exciting new transmitter from Radio Master. So Radio Master released the Radio Master Pocket. It is a small, handheld, fully functional, full power transmitter for under $65. Not only it has the radio, they all ha also have a bunch of different cases. And it doesn't weigh much. It's completely like feather light compared to other radios on the market. And yes, it does fit, fit in your, your pocket. pocket. So in this video, we're gonna go over the buttons, the layout, all that good stuff on the pocket, and then we're gonna open it up, and then we're gonna play around with the cases. No, 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 they're, they're split. They're split, they're gonna fall, you're gonna break them, I'm gonna be mad. You are... This is why we don't let Basil touch things. So the question is, is that a radio in your pocket, or are you just... Happy to see me. <laughs> Wrangler shorts here, apparently, the, for those of you that need to know. It, <laughs> it does fit. It is truly a pocket yeah. radio. So it is an actual radio you could put in your pocket with the gimbals off. Right, so let's see what's inside the box, guys. This is a CC2500 version. You'll see what version you get on the box there. Open the sucker up. This is a transparent one. Ooh. So it comes in a nice little bag. Kind of like a Crown Royal bag for those of you like your <laughs> your liquors. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> that's, I you mean, that's cool. Now you don't have to put your... Yeah, I mean, you could. Uh, all right, so that's everything inside the box. You got your your bag, your sticker sheet, your quick start guide, Q, QC little manual, screen protector, cord, and transmitter. So you're probably thinking, Will, something's missing here. Where's the gimbals? This guy has them stored on the back to keep it with the pocket name storable. So you take out... The gimbals add little rubber grips to here, oh. and you screw them in. It's in just like that. And these are Hall Effect gimbals. So fancy. Antenna rotates up, turns. It goes one way. It doesn't go both ways, so don't break it. But there's that right there. So the Radio Master Pocket has two two-position buttons on the corners, two three-position switches, like one rocker, like rocker switches. Well, three was yeah. yeah. One momentary and one slider. So it's a little less than some of the other radios in the series, but for the most part, it's going to be on par with like your boxers and Zoros and all that, which is the theme it's going for is the uh, more less complicated version for great for FPV and drones and all. Got your USB C, got your trainer port, got a cord on the bottom, USB C for charging, SD card slot. And it does not come with an SD. Oh, no, it does. Basil kept turning the radio here, but it does come with a 256 megabyte, which is more than enough okay. for what you're doing on this. Okay, turn it on. All right, guys. So at this price point, it does not include batteries, which is common with the Radio Master line. Pretty much none of the radios come with a battery unless you buy like a combo. Or well, because like shipping is really weird now. Exactly. Batteries. Uh, batteries and shipping is not fun from overseas. So let's look at the back of this guy. You'll pop this cheek open right here. Pop it off. Off and out. And now here's the nice thing about this. Unlike the Zorro that uses the 18350s, this is going to use your standard 18650s, which you can get the Radio Master ones, 2500 milliamp. Um, these are like $10 to $11, something like that. Um, we sell them here uh, at Grayson Hobby. Um, these guys right here being 2500 milliamp versus the 900 milliamp, the Zorro. So now you're getting a compact radio about the same size footprint as a Zorro realistically, but you're able to get much better battery life because you're running 2,500 milliamp versus 900 milliamp. So that's a lot longer. Uh, if you guys are gonna be running ELRS uh, wireless simulator and all that, you know that eats battery up. So this is a little saving grace right there. So let's go ahead and put these batteries in, negatives to the bottom, positives to the top. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this radio here. Pull this screen protector off. So now we got, switch warning. of course, switch high and the switch is there. So you'll see the Radio Master pocket and a whole bunch of warnings because I just turned it on. Um, that's right there. Now, one thing I want to point out, guys, I don't know if you saw that. When the moment, when the two position switch is active, the lights are on the back. So it has a green light for active and turned off when in yeah, that's when it's cool. up. That's so really cool. that's really but nice because at a quick reference, you can see on off yeah yeah that's real cool now it doesn't do it on the momentary there's nothing on the slider nothing on the three positions it's just these two corner buttons um or switches i guess you'd say but uh switch d a and d have a backlit display or backlit led when they are pushed in the down position that's cool so position two so that's a really nice little feature i thought that was a great idea because it is hard to tell 
if it's active or inactive right there, but at least with the LED, you have some sort of confirmation there. So let me ask you a question, jumping ahead here. This is the CC. There's gonna be two versions right. available. So as far as spec wise, um, this radio is gonna be offered in a CC2500 version. That's gonna be your Free Sky, Fly Sky variants, uh, Corona, whatever, um, things that people aren't really using, I guess. I don't, maybe you're out there using, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you're using below for CC2500 other than Free Sky. But uh, the other option is ELRS. So this is probably the one that we're gonna have the most stock of and carry moving forward, um, the ELRS protocol. So the ELRS protocol is a 250 milliwatt ELRS module inside it, just like the Zorro, just like the TX16S. So you have the same capability that you have with those in this right here, it's updatable, everything like that. As the module you're asking, if you do for some reason want more than 250 milliwatt, you need that one watt power. Um, Radio Master and other companies do make external modules. This uses the little uh, micro XJT module. Or if you're running the four or the CC2500 and you want to go to ELRS, right? You could, yes. Yeah. yeah, so you could do that. So if you want the extra output of the one watt capable, you can get an XJT module, either the four in one protocol or an ELRS protocol uh, Ranger module that will work on the back. Um, that gives you the ability to an ELRS up to one watt instead of 250 or a four in one, which is, will give you spectrum, free sky, fly sky, and 40 other protocols available. I um, guess if you had, if you're still running crossfire, that would work crossfire. If you have a crossfire nano module, it would plug into it's, it's the so it's X, nano module. XJT nano, I think it's called. Yeah. Yeah. It's not the big one. It's not the one that goes in the, in the jumper yeah. or the yeah. Radio Master T16. Yeah. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name of it, but yes, that will work on the back. Uh, personally guys, I would highly recommend just getting, you know, if you're starting out, this is more of a beginner, uh, price point radio, yeah. um, which speaking of price, ELRS $64.99, CC2500 $54.99. That is the projected prices as of right now. Who knows what in this world, what's going to happen in the future. I don't like the old, uh, transparent. You don't like transparent? No. I want to customize mine. But it's ghost. <laughs> All right. Well. That being said, there is another version. Let's show that as well. So this is your clear charcoal. Let's see. Oh, yeah, much. <clears throat> so those are the factory colors, from what I understand. Um, Wait, now I still want. I still want mine custom. You want more? I you want, want more. more. Okay, so that's where we get four colorways available. Ooh! Show us! Show us! So you'll have pink, orange, blue, or yellow. Uh, price on these, the color kits, very I affordable. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't know if they published so that you, yet. How hard is it to change it though? I mean, it looks, I mean, I know oh, the old days well, it was impossible to change the TX. So I'm going to show you a quick what's inside it. Cause we haven't taken one of these apart yet. And I don't think anybody else has. So let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and take one of these open. I'm going to go ahead and do the ELRS one. Cause that's what I'm going to be flying. Okay. So let's get this guy apart. First of all, take the grip off. So we're going to break it before we even use it, right? Uh, you're not touching it, so <laughs> therefore it's not broken. All right, so what is that screwdriver? So right we're going to take an M2 okay. Allen wrench, two, mil, uh, two millimeter Allen wrench. Okay. There's four screws on the back plate. Underneath the grips, you'll have four screws. You got the four screws out. Let's just check under this module, make sure there's no screws, nothing under the sticker. Lift the antenna up, comes out, and Ooh, we're going to fold it over. Wow. And that's the guts of it. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this plug right here carefully, just so we can take it apart and show you guys a little easier what's inside. All right, guys. So what you have here in the batter, the back case is your momentary button, your SE momentary, and your slider one is on these boards. They'll screw with two screws. They run down to the wire and that goes into this daughter board. This board also is your module bay plug and then that will cross over to here, and then your battery power will plug in there. If you get a replacement case, it will include the battery tabs, because those are pushed into the thing. That way you don't have to transfer those over. They are including that. Um, you will have to move over the switches, and you will have to move over the module bay adapter. So that's gonna be a little work. But it it's a little easy. work, but as far as, let's take a look at this here. Okay. Um, the actual plate, you got just Phillips head screws for the most part, possibly a couple M, M2s right here, uh, maybe two M2s. Um, but other than that, looks like you'll pretty much be able to do a Phillips head M2. And Wait then if, a minute, what's that say right there? Radio Master Zorro Pocket. 
basically inside here, this, the only question I have is what is this port for? This one says... That's for the flux capacitor? Not really sure, but there's no information on that. This is a pro, some sort of programming port. Um, either how they flash the chip directly or something like that. Uh, possibly future expandable. Who knows what's gonna be in store for this. But I will say guys, at this price point, this is a radio worth modding. Um, I'm already mentally thinking a lemon do-it-yourself module inside this guy and I'm running a second antenna. Speaking of antenna, let's crack it open. Oh. So, but wait, don't more. do this, but we're gonna do it anyway. Pop the lid. There's the antenna. Underneath the plate, you have a UFL connector running down, antenna soldered to a little mini board with a T-style antenna. Okay. So there you go. That's literally a naked radio. What this looks like with a little bit of color on it, because I think just the gray is kind of boring, but let's just mock this up real quick. But, so you can't just do it. You have to put the, the switches and buttons. Well, you have to put the switches in, okay, but okay. yeah, so I just, just want to, I just want to make sure it's clear. I'm just doing a mock up It's not here. as easy he's doing. He's just doing it for the looks. I, yeah. want, I don't want anybody complaining that. So you, like, basically the point he's trying to make is you can do one half, yeah, one you, color, one half the other color. You can do pink and green or blue and orange. Hmm. Blue and orange. Blue that and almost orange. sounds like the Grayson Hobby. Where color. do I find blue and blue and orange? I don't know. Nowhere but. in this building. But just to give you an idea, you can put the one back half of one on and the other half. This is like a nice little bumblebee. Radio Master, That's watching cool. this video, my one word of advice or my one suggestion that I would say, color kits for the buttons. You have the CNC metal kits for this guy. If it's cost effective, let's get some color kits for the buttons here. Let's switch this out. If I had yellow buttons and maybe yellow gimbals or something like that, I could make a really cool color scheme with this thing oh, with wow. yellow and yellow and black or blue and orange. And by the way, where's the red body kit? Yeah. Okay, but that that's my rant for the day. <laughs> We're looking at 289 grams on the uh, pocket. A Zorro without batteries, 353. And then a Boxer without batteries. It does have the battery holder, but no batteries. Five, mm, that moved. 538, 528, 527. 527. So we're about half the weight of the Boxer. So this is a perfect pocket radio. Shocking, Wait. right? All right, so last but not least, you do have a USB data port for communication on top for updating software. The USB-C on the bottom is Quick Charge 3.0, so it will charge these batteries much faster so you charge than, the, right through here? than the legacy transmitters. Oh, so you charge right yeah, through Yeah, you here. charge your batteries right through there. You don't have to take the batteries out of the transmitter, you charge them right through there. Nice. Then you can update firmware either by taking the SD card out and updating the firmware or through the USB port on the top. Nice. All right, guys, there you have it. It's a high-depth review. We really just got these in. Um, if we miss anything, let us know. Or if you want to see more in-depth um, discussion about these, let us know. Um, we yeah. know we're, we're going to definitely do a uh, case change case swap video, yeah. And, uh, yeah, anything else? No, that's pretty much everything, guys. Uh, any comments, questions, put them down in the comments below. Question. Does it work with Spectrum? I already Dang. knew it. I knew it. <laughs> no, it does not. Neither one of these pair with Spectrum. So those of you guys that have Spectrum,